You're ready to make music, you've added an instrument plugin into Waveform Free or Pro, and you're getting no sound from that instrument. Luckily, there are some things that we can look at for a quick fix to this. So let's have a look at how we can quickly correct this issue. Now, the first thing I want to look at is a very common problem. And you can see right here, I have my instrument plugin. This is just the four OSC that comes with waveform. And I'll show you on the screen so you can see. If we click over here on the input section, we can bring up this piano down at the bottom here. If you don't have the bottom properties bar open, you can just click that arrow, open it up, and you'll see this. And if I press a key just by clicking, there's no sound coming through it. Now, the issue with this track here, which is one of the most common things, is I have an audio effect in front of the instrument. So the MIDI's coming in, it's hitting this audio effect, and a lot of effects, they don't pass MIDI through. So the MIDI is just dying there and not even hitting our instrument. So what we can do here is just quickly click and drag our instrument so it's the first one in the list here. And now if I go over here, click on a key, I've got sound and hopefully that fixes your problem right away. If not, then we can look at some other things. And the first thing we should check after that is to make sure we have audio working in our project or in waveform in general. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the browser over here and I'm just going to bring in a piece of audio. And really, if you click on some audio over in this browser, you'll start to hear a little bit of a preview, but I'm going to click and drag it onto a different track, not onto the same track that we have our instrument on. And don't copy. Now I'm just going to close that browser. If you don't wanna go through that built-in browser, you can just drag and drop a piece of audio from any window on your computer. Just click and drag it into here. So now we hit play. I know I have audio set up correctly in here because I'm hearing audio. I can move on to the next steps to check. But if you don't have audio at this point, that means something's not set up correctly. You might wanna go into settings and then audio devices. And over in here, you wanna make sure that the device is whatever your audio interface is or your sound card. You wanna make sure that the check mark is beside that. If you're on a Windows computer for device type, I do recommend installing the ASIO driver that's meant for your audio interface. And you can grab that from the manufacturer's website. It's not something that installs automatically. You have to manually do that. But if you don't wanna do that, then you can select Windows Audio or one of these other Windows Audio options in here. And then just make sure you have your device checked off in there. You can click test. And if you have audio there, you know your device is set up correctly. Another thing to look for in here, and this can happen accidentally if you've been poking around a little bit, is you might have accidentally disabled your outputs. Because if you just click there, I've just disabled my outputs. I have no more audio outputs enabled. And then I just click on that again, and make sure it's enabled. If this is all set up, you should have audio when you click test and we can move on to the next steps now. So we know we have audio. What we wanna look at now is our project here. Sometimes we might've accidentally hit mute on the track that we're trying to have our plugin work on. So if I click on a key now, there's nothing. No audio, you can see I have the M, it's red here, which means it's muted. Click on that again to unmute it. Click the keys and we have sound. If that's not the issue, we can look more into our project here. And this is something that happens to me all the time. If I have a lot of tracks in here and maybe I've soloed something and then I had the idea, oh, I'm gonna bring in an instrument plugin and I forgot I soloed something else. Well, when you solo another track, you're muting all of the other tracks. So now if I hit a key, no sound because this track is soloed. So you can see that by this green S here. So if you see a green S on a track, just click on that and unsolo it. And now we have 
sound again. If that's not the issue, there's still some more things that we can look at. Maybe you've accidentally turned the volume down for this track. So if I bring that down, I'm gonna have no audio coming through. And I just wanna click on that and then I can go to reset volume to zero. There we go. We're at zero and we're going to have sound. So that's something you should check if you're not getting any sound after doing all those other things. If you're still not getting sound and you have volume there, also make sure that your master volume is turned up. Maybe you've accidentally turned that down, but if we have audio in our project, we know that's not the case. But maybe we've accidentally changed the output for this track. If you click on this little speaker icon over here, make sure that default audio output has the check mark beside it. Sometimes you can accidentally set it for another track or some other device or out set of outputs on your device. So you wanna make sure default audio output is selected there and you should have audio after that. And hopefully that fixes the problem. If not, there's some other things we can still look at and we'll go back to our plugin here. Now, if I'm clicked on my plugin and maybe I'm doing something on my computer keyboard, like trying to use it as a MIDI keyboard, but I didn't set it up correctly, or maybe I just hit the wrong key. If I hit F, I've just disabled this plugin. So I'm not going to get any more sound from this plugin because I've accidentally hit F on my computer keyboard. And you can see it's grayed out, it's a darker gray. This is a plugin that's enabled. It's a lighter gray, this one's disabled. And you can also look at the window itself, this power button up here, if it's enabled, it's white, disabled, it's dark gray. So have a look there and click on this if it's grayed out, so it's white and now it's enabled and we will have sound again. That's a very common problem is you accidentally hit that F and disable the plugin. Another issue you might run into is maybe you're trying to play or program in a range that this specific plugin that you're using doesn't have any sounds for that range. So I'll show you what I mean. So maybe you're trying to play something way up in a high octave, but the range for your plugin is only down here. So if I go to play something up here, I'm not hearing anything. But if I play down here, now I'm hearing something. So I'm playing above the range for actually this specific preset of this plugin. There, I can't hear the sounds way up there, but down here we can hear the sounds with some drum plugins or sampled plugins. Some keys might not have a sound associated with it. So maybe you're just clicking on the wrong keys for that plugin. That's something to check. You might wanna try swapping out another plugin and putting it in there and seeing if that works just to make sure. And like we just saw with the preset here, we have no sounds. Maybe it is the preset you're using. Maybe there's something, an issue with it. You can just try changing the preset. So find the preset browser for your plugin and change it. And you can see with this preset, I have sounds up here. And really after going through all of those, if you still don't have any sound coming through, but you know you have audio coming through waveform, so you know your setup's working in there, there just must be something wrong with either that specific project or just something wrong with your MIDI setup in general. If you're trying to use a MIDI keyboard, you might want to click over here and just make sure the MIDI keyboard that you're using is selected as the input. And again, just click on that and try to make the sounds by clicking on keys down here, just to make sure it's not the MIDI keyboard. If you're trying to use the computer keyboard as a MIDI keyboard, again, maybe just try clicking down here to make sure that the plugin's working and it's not something to do with the computer keyboard or your MIDI keyboard. And if all of that's not working still, I really don't know what the problem could be. It's something specific to your computer or to your project, 
try starting a new project and see if the plugin works in the new project. Then you know it was the, uh, some issue in the other project. I don't know why. Maybe it was created on a different computer and something's weird there. I don't know. But hopefully one or more of these tips that we just looked at really helped you and it got you to get sound out of your instrument. If you want more waveform tips and tutorials, click the playlist on the screen right there for some more great waveform material. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching. For Audio Tech TV, I'm Zane. Keep creating. Fist bump. Thumbs up.